We begin by praising Allah. We praise Him, we seek His help, and we ask for His forgiveness. Whomsoever Allah guides, no one can misguide. And whomsoever Allah leaves to go astray, no one can guide. And I bear witness that Allah alone is worthy of worship and that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his last and final messenger. My dear brothers, I want to thank you all for coming out in the cold, for standing here and to show your firmness and to show your resolution. Despite the masjid being closed, alhamdulillah, we have come here to pray the Jum'ah. And we will come here inshallah as long as we can, as long as we are able to, to continue to pray, to show our support, to stand firm, that we will not allow the masjid to be closed. Subhanallah, how can someone close the masjid of Allah? Look at the people that have come to pray and they have left us outside in the cold. I don't want to get into the politics of things, but my dear brothers and sisters, please continue to show your support. Please continue to come to the masjid to pray. Do not waver, stand firm insha'Allah and know that insha'Allah this is the right thing that we are doing to come and to stand firm and to show that we will not allow our masjid to be closed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says in the Quran Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu qu anfusakum wa ahlikum naran wa quduhan nasu wal hijara alayha malaikatun ghiladun shidad Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu speaking to us speaking to the nation of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qu anfusakum wa ahlikum nara save yourselves and your family from the fire what fire is this? The fuel of which this fire is the men and stones. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is commanding us to save ourselves and then our families from the fire. And how can we do this my dear brothers and sisters? We must start with ourselves. We must start with ourselves. We are that first point that our families go to. We are that first point in the household that our children who look up to us, we are that role model for them, especially at the young age. They look up to us. So we must first fix ourselves and look at ourselves and see how we can improve ourselves because we are that role model in our household. And we see this in the story of Musa and Khidr that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he mentions in the Quran that out of nowhere they went to this distant town the two best men on the face of the earth at that time Musa and Khidr and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he sends them to this town this town which is an evil town they asked the people of the town to please give us some food we are travelers but they refused to give them any food refused to give them any shelter and they find in this town a wall and this wall is about to collapse and Khidr, he rebuilds this wall, he protects this wall, he fortifies this wall and Musa says to him, you could have taken a fee for this, why are you rebuilding the property for free? And Khidr informs him that now it is time for us to depart, you've asked too many questions ya Musa, so now it's time for us to depart but I will inform you of these events that Musa has following and he informs him about the wall and as for this wall it belonged to two orphan boys in this city and underneath this wall there was a treasure there was a treasure underneath this wall and this is why I have rebuilt this wall why why did I rebuild this wall? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala informs us, Allah sent Musa and Khidr, the two best men on the face of the earth, to this evil town to rebuild this wall, to protect the property of the orphan. Why? Allah says, And their father, the father of these two orphan boys was righteous. He was a righteous person. And look how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protected their wealth, protected their honor. He sent Musa and Khidr to go and rebuild this wall. This is the outcome, my dear brothers and sisters, if we focus on ourselves and we try to be, have a good relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will protect us and will protect our offsprings bi idnillahi ta'ala. Aqul qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum fastaghfiruhu innahu huwa al-ghafoor rahim
Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says in the Qur'an, talking about the reality of this world, the reality of this life. Kullu nafsin dha'iqatul mawt. Every soul shall taste death. There is not one of us here that will not pass away. وَإِنَّمَا تُوَفَّوْنَ أُجُورَكُمْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ and indeed, on the day of resurrection, on the day of Qiyamah, everyone will be accounted for, everyone will be given their due right. You have done right, you will be rewarded. You have done wrong, you will be held accountable for. Nothing, nothing will be left unaccounted for on that day. La ظُلْمَ yawm. There will be no injustice on that day. That is the day when everything will be set aright. وَإِنَّمَا تُوَفَّوْنَ أُجُورَكُمْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ فَمَنْ زُحْزِحَ عَنِ النَّارِ وَأُدْخِلَ الْجَنَّةَ فَقَدْ فَاز So that person on that day who is removed, who is taken away from the hellfire and is admitted into Jannah فَقَدْ فَاز That is the true success. That is the person who has attained the true success on that day. وَمَا الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا إِلَّا مَتَاعُ الْغُرُورِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says that this dunya that we all chase after, that we all love, that we all spend our time and our efforts chasing. وَمَا الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا إِلَّا مَتَاعُ الْغُرُورِ It's a delusion. It's a false delusion, a false enjoyment. Because indeed, my dear brothers and sisters, we will all return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This life is temporary. This life is short. And we must return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, improve ourselves, improve our lives. And let us not preoccupy ourselves with the dunya. Let us, pre let us occupy ourselves, my dear brothers and sisters, with the akhirah. And when I say this, I don't mean don't have a good life. I don't mean don't have a good car or try to have a good house. No problem to accumulate these things. But let this not preoccupy you with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and doing righteous deeds. Don't get preoccupied with your work and miss your salah. Don't get preoccupied with enjoyment and forget to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you go out to work, make your intention you're going to work for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to provide for yourself, to provide for your family. And bi idhnillah, Allah will not only give you risk, but he will reward you for your intention and reward you for your work. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, we all try to seek happiness. We all try to seek happiness. This is what we are doing. This is why we are chasing the dunya. But Allah says, وَمَنْ أَعْرَضَ عَنْ ذِكْرِي Those who turn away from my remembrance. فَإِنَّ لَهُ مَعِيشَةً ضَنْكَ He will have a miserable life. وَنَحْشُرُهُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ أَعْمَى And on the day of resurrection, he will be raised blind. قَالَ رَبِّي لِمَا حَشَرْتَنِي أَعْمَى وَقَدْ كُنْتُ بَصِيرًا Oh my Lord, why did you raise me blind when I used to see? Allah says, and my verses came to you, my ayat came to you in this world, but you turned away from them, you forgot them. So on this day, you shall be forgotten. But what about the believers? الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَتَطْمَئِنُّ قُلُوبُهُمْ بِذِكْرِ اللَّهِ أَلَا بِذِكْرِ اللَّهِ تَطْمَئِنُّ الْقُلُوبُ As for the believers, their hearts find peace in the remembrance of Allah. This is how we can find enjoyment in our lives, by remembering Allah, by turning to Him, by praising Him. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us of those who remember Him frequently. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us, to protect our families. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us the best of this life and the best of the akhirah. رَبَّنَا لَا تُزِغْ قُلُوبَنَا بَعْدَ إِذْ هَدَيْتَنَا وَهَبْ لَنَا مِنْ لَدُنْكَ رَحْمَةً إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ الْوَهَّابِ رَبَّنَا آتِنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا حَسَنَةً وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ حَسَنَةً وَقِنَا عذاب, وقنا عذاب النَّارِ عباد الله رحمكم الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون اذكروا الله يذكركم ودعوه يستجب لكم ولذكر الله أكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون وأقيموا الصلاة